It's Rob, and uh, I'm under the kitchen sink today with my assistants. Hello, Piper. Would you like to help? Huh? Would you like to be healthy? <sighs> yes, I am. Uh, I am assisted very strongly. All right, there we go. Let's get a little bit of light in here. Something. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah, so uh, I think I have said before that that kitchen faucet needs to be replaced. Uh, I did try and replace the cartridge in it, and the cartridge was not the problem. It's in the faucet itself. The water and pressure and flow is fine at the lines underneath the sink. Um, so it is. Uh, it's time to replace that sink. So I got a new one. And uh, one of the reasons that it's time to replace this, this faucet already is it was kind of a cheapy hardware store purchase and they are not particularly, they don't particularly have any longevity. So I did go with a little more of a, of a professional brand. Hi Piper, yes, you are very healthy. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're very healthy. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll, I'll, this might take a little while. Yeah, okay, 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 I got it. okay, you, you, yes, you're big. Oh, four, four. Okay, I gotta go, I gotta stop doing this thing. I already cleaned out underneath the sink. That's something that you guys really didn't need to see. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know what underneath a, underneath a kitchen sink looks like in most places. Uh, but I got everything out of here, so uh, it should be relatively easy to access. It's kind of a pain in the butt the way this thing is plumbed. I didn't do the plumbing for it, so don't blame me. Blame the people who came in here and installed this kitchen. They weren't particularly... They weren't particularly in the mind of doing things with um, future work in mind. They were just trying to get in and out as quickly as possible. All right. This is the faucet. Oh, the faucet set. I don't know what you call it. So I got a fister. You can tell it's it's like a German fister. Oh jeez. She is a beauty. Look at those sleek modern lines. Scutcheon plate. is to remove the old faucet. Uh, step one is to turn off the water first. Step two is to remove the old faucet. And you know, we were in here recently enough to know right where the water shutoffs are. <clears throat> so those are relatively easy. Now, 
I also know that I'm going to have to remove these fittings because the other faucet has a different kind of uh, different kind of attachment. This one is held in by these cute little bolting puppies. <clears throat> and that's going to take two hands. Well, I'm going to loosen this and then try and pull it out and see if I can get by without having to take these off. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but we'll see. So I'm going to put you down now. So I got the uh, old faucet out. I was able to take it out without having to cut anything. I did have to take off the, uh, uh, the water lines, you know, these things. So those will go there. And I'm just going to clean this off so that we have a nice, nice clean surface to work from for mounting the big faucet. What is? What is? It's not enough attention? Hmm? It's not enough attention? Oh. Is it time for a foob? Is it time for a foob? All right. All right, I believe that seems sufficiently clean. You know, with the instructions, uh, they say to put down some plumber's putty in this groove. I'm not going to use plumber's putty. I am using some silicone caulk. Uh, I find that this is better longevity and, and it's easier to clean up in the long run. Make sure that this is properly seated. There we go. Thank you, Piper. You're very healthy. Yes, you are. Yes, I know. Oh. I suppose I encourage this, don't I? Yeah, I will. <laughs> All right, silly dog. Oh, goodness. Uh, I'm going to have to use both hands again, but uh, I've got the washers and stuff to put on here. Focus! not focusing all right anyway uh, so I'm gonna put these on to seal that uh, seal the faucet down you want to go outside okay uh, I'm going to put some Teflon tape on these little adapters that go onto the sink So I'm going to make sure to not get any on the inside. Uh, another tip is to make sure that you wrap around clockwise. Uh, because when you tighten, then it will help to keep the tape laying down instead of trying to bunch up and causing issues down the road. And I'm going to put some of the uh, seal tape some of this Teflon tape on these as well. Well, in 
hooking up the water, <clears throat> identifying the hot and cold lines is pretty important. The, in this faucet, the hot line is marked with a um, piece of tape on the line that says hot, which is a pretty good indication that that's the hot water. Oh yeah, I need that next one. And I know that there's there's usually one that's longer and one that's shorter, but I don't know that there's any consistency of which one is which. So just follow the instructions on the particular um, faucet that you have. You know, and if you get it wrong, it's not that hard to swap them once they're done. If you're using these flexible flexible hoses. I don't know that anybody doesn't use these anymore. And for those of you who say that I should be using an open-ended wrench instead of an adjustable wrench, you can bite my shiny metal ass. see if I can get this. Uh, this is a, a weight that is the thing that pulls the the spray head back and makes it the retractable kind. And it is very uncomfortable to get to under this sink. This is not a uh, not a desirable place to be working on it uh, on a good day. It's extremely difficult and very cramped. Get that. Decent. And then we'll put in the other screw. this piece of marking tape on the uh, on the line that's the optimal location is now on attached put together now the uh, the hold down nut for the sink the main uh, the main faucet turns out to be really difficult to get to with any kind of a wrench there's a special special kind of wrench that's needed to put that in and of course you know it's an optional purchase from Pfister um, I'll go to the hardware store tomorrow and see if I can find one that is the right size so that I can tighten that down because right now it's pretty loose. But the next step is to turn on the water and see if there are any leaks. First the hot water. All right, that's a good indication. Oh. <clears throat> That would be a leak. Okay, water is on, leaks have been fixed, and let's see what happens. That's a good indication. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. <laughs> Hot works. Cold works. Yay. All right. Well, that's that much working. Um, now I still have to finish the cleanup and putting away the tools and everything, but the kitchen sink faucet has been replaced and is working. So now we have a workable kitchen again. <sighs> okay, that's my project done. That took longer than I thought it was going to take. Um, well, I, there were a couple of a couple of breaks in there. Uh, we had food for the dogs and I had to go to the hardware store. And I got my car washed in there too, so that took a little bit more time. But still, that's a that was pretty much a full day. And that should probably only be about a two to three hour job. Of course, if you have everything planned out perfectly. So uh, make sure you have everything in advance. <laughs> I didn't do that. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. All right, step one is to remove... <laughs> really? <laughs>